Hello everyone, welcome back to Hunting Dollies. Today, as you can tell probably by the title of this video, we're gonna talk about two dolls today. So this might be a little bit of a long video, but I think it'd be well worth it. Sorry, my cats are knocking things over as usual. <laughs> anyway, uh, we are gonna be talking about Barbie Rewind 80s Edition, School and Around, and Slumber, Par uh, Slumber Party or PJ Party. I think it's Slumber Party. <laughs> So we're going to be discussing these two dolls today, and because we have a lot to go over, because these dolls have a lot to look at. Well, they have a few accessories. Um, now let's look at the boxes real quick. I got ahead of myself there. So the boxes slide out. This one looks like a VHS. And then the outer sleeve has a picture of the doll we'll be looking at. And the back has a picture of the doll as well. It's just more of a full body picture. And um, there's also a picture of Sophisticated Style, which you can see I have her already up on my shelf. I'll probably eventually do a review on all the Rewind dolls. Uh, actually, if you're interested in seeing that, let me know down in the comments below and I'll try to plan something soon about that. But, um, so Sophisticated Style is pictured down here because she and Sophisticated Style were released together. It was those two, and then Slumber Party, Movie Night, which I have also, if I can point correctly, back there as well. Um, and then Prom Night. So, um, I believe this one, School Around, and Sophisticated Style are considered the same series. And then the other three are a later edition. So um, if you know more about that, let me know in the comments below. But anyway, uh, the back of the box does have a little spiel, a little, little bit of verbiage. And I'll go ahead and read it to you. It says, uh, Barbie is too, school, too cool in school, dressed in a rad varsity jacket paired with a tiered acid washed ruffled skirt and coordinating leg warmers. Remember big crimped hair? You get an A+. Plus. Uh, if you wore yours in a side pony too. Better grab your backpack and head straight to the computer lab or you won't be saved by the bell. <laughs> so there's a couple of uh, references there that I'm sure a lot of you know from the 80s. I myself was not alive for most of the 80s. We won't talk about what part I was alive for. Um, so, uh, that's real. That's a lot of fun. So we're going to go ahead and get her out and take a closer look at this really cool doll. All right, she is out of the box. So as you can see, she's got a lot of fun accessories and I really love her style and um, just her overall look. I love to use the uh, st uh, Steffi face mold I love they gave her this really pretty red hair and these accessories. I'm really excited about this one up here. Uh, I'm also, I also like the backpack, kind of wish it was more cloth and zipped up, but we can talk about that more in a moment. So let me start the process of taking her out of the box. Um, all these dolls do come with a certificate of authenticity. It just says, this certifies that your Barbie Rewind doll was created through the collaborative efforts of designers and artists at Mattel. And they are black label dolls as well. Um, they're, all their certificates look the same. They don't have each of their names on them or anything like that. So they're all the same. Seen one of them, you've seen them all pretty much. So I've been very excited. I know these dolls have been out for a while. I believe the first round came out in, was it 2020? And then I believe uh, School and Around and Sophisticated Style came out in 2021. And I wanna say that Slumber Party and uh, Prom Night and Movie Night came out also in 2022 or maybe late 2021. Um, if I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comments. Again, I probably should have taken the five seconds to uh, go to Mattel Creations website and look it up. That information is usually available in descriptions of each of the dolls. 
but I was so excited to open these dolls up, I completely forgot to do that. <laughs> And uh, what I'm doing now is I found it easier to get the dolls out of the box and also without damaging the box. If you just go to the back of the box and cut all these plastic tabs holding everything in, these kind of clear plastic tabs. If you cut all those off, everything just kind of slides out and it's easier to get the doll out of the box and the accessories out and so on and so forth. And we'll see if that's actually the case as I do this. Each doll does come with a stand. The stand looks like a cassette tape. <laughs> um, I actually do remember cassette tapes. My parents, you know, had a lot of them. Uh, that's how they listened to their music. Uh, CDs were more of a thing when I was a bit younger. And then um, so were iPads. <laughs> or not iPads, iPods. <laughs> and now, none of that is really needed. But I think it's cool that a lot of this stuff is coming back. Also, each doll comes with a 90s really looking hairbrush, but I believe these were also used, started coming out in the late 80s. So I think they made it into the 80s part. Um, and also, as you notice, the teeth on these brush, on these brushes, um, they're not as thickly rowed. Uh, as the original brushes, but that's fine. I love that they've done it. Um, this design, good Lord, I have so many of these brushes from 90s dolls. You just wouldn't believe how many of them I have, and I'm glad to have them. I wouldn't part with them. They're part of my, they're just very important to me. <laughs> All right, so I'm getting her accessories out. So let's go ahead and go over them. We have this pink notebook that has the, uh, that design on it, we all know what that design is. And it is a composition design, composition notebook design on it. Uh, there's a big B in white on it. Um, although the side of it doesn't really look like a composition notebook, it looks like a regular book. And then the back is just solid pink. Um, it's a nice piece. Um, I might go through the effort of painting the details where the pages are white, just to give it more, more depth, maybe even painting the ridges on the spine as well. But very cute look. I like lots of little accessories like that because I do enjoy dioramas. I'm trying to put some together in the small space that I have in my doll room. <laughs> Maybe I'll show that when I have them together. Once, um, once they're together, I'll probably try to uh, take some pictures of it and show it on uh, my Instagram. She also came with a pair of just black framed square glasses which are kind of cute. There's no plastic, no lenses or anything. Just uh, just framed black eyeglasses for her to wear. And then this was kind of random, but also kind of cool. A, um, she was she's also has this neon yellow protractor. And I definitely remember these from school. Math haunts my dreams at night. Every time I think of math, it's actually a nightmare. And then we have, let's see if I can get it out. There we go. We have a little pencil, just a little yellow pencil. It has a little thing there where you can attach the doll's finger. So it looks like she's holding it. Uh, none of the details on this pencil are painted. I kind of wish. Uh, regular price, these dolls are $44.99 or $45.99. They're almost a $50 doll. Um, it'd have been nice if they could have painted some details on the pencil. I mean, that's just me being a little picky, but a little paint would have just really elevated this little accessory, which I might go back and do later. And then she also comes with this purple heart-shaped backpack with a bee on it and a polka dot triangle design. It is open where you can stick her little book in there and her pencil and then probably even her protractor if you can really work it in um yeah it all it fits in her backpack so if you want to display her with her backpack all her stuff fits inside so you won't lose it and trust me when i say all of us doll collectors know the struggle of dropping something by accident and losing it just like i just dropped the the waist portion of her sand 
<laughs> oh my goodness. And it's up oh, there it is. Found it. Now her last accessory that she comes with is this really cool, and probably my favorite accessory, is this really cool computer straight from the 80s. It has this keyboard, and I'm sure this brings back a lot of memories from for all, a lot of you that probably went to school in the 80s, whether it was, you know, elementary, junior high, or high school. And um, I have to admit, I don't think I've ever seen a computer like this in person. But um, I, I think this is a really cool and fun accessory, perfect for a little, you know, desk diorama or however you want to do it. And the screen says, Barbie, we girls can do anything. That was a saying that they used a lot in the 80s in Barbie commercials. Barbie, we girls can do anything. So I think that's cool. They kind of did a nod to that along with this doll. Just putting her stand together so we can now, which I did it wrong, talk about the doll. So she does come on this plastic thing. I wish they would stop putting these plastic stays or whatever those things are called in the back of the doll's heads. I just, I think it's a bit overkill. Her head's not gonna go anywhere. So I'm just gonna snip these off real quick. And then also on top of being with those plastic things in the back of her head, she's also, her hair is also sewn in place. That's why I feel like those plastic stay things, whatever you want to call them, are a bit overkill. Especially if you're just gonna sew the doll's hair into place. I don't think she's going anywhere. So I feel like those plastic things just kinda need to not be around anymore. So I'm just getting her out of all the, the final little plastic pieces, holding her in her box, which again, I feel like is a little bit overkill. <laughs> I mean, they act like she's just gonna try to make an escape out of her box. And I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite dolls from this line. Um, just because I love, uh, I can be a little partial to um, redhead dolls to begin with. And I just really like her entire outfit, uh, her look, all her accessories that she comes with. It's She's just a great doll. So now that she's finally out of all that packaging, here she is in her glory. She's got that beautiful Steffi face mold, which was used actually for Midge a lot in the uh, uh, late 80s and early, and early 90s. Mitch had the Steffi face mold. They'd go back and forth between using Steffi and uh, the Diva face mold as well. And her hair is very heavily crimped. It's gelled. And I'm just trying to run my fingers so that to make it look a little better. She's got some box hair out of right out of the box, but that's okay. Nothing a little, you know, combing through and kind of zhuzhing it out won't take care of. And she has this amazing pastel pink and white uh, varsity jacket with these, what would you call that, tealish kind of blue accents around the sleeves and the little buttons and the B on there. And then she's got this very 80s looking printed t-shirt with hearts and pencils and protractors she's really into school like she loves school so much she decided to wear a t-shirt with all that stuff on it <laughs> and then her little layered or tiered acid washed um skirt with the blue waistband leg warmers made out of, uh made out of the same material as her t-shirt and print and then she finishes it with these blue tennis shoes that are have some of the details painted on them. Her earrings very much remind me of Totally Hair Barbie's earrings. I don't know if they're an exact copy or if they're, they look like an exact copy from what I can tell. 
Uh, they're in purple, and then she comes with a purple heart-shaped ring. Again, there's so much I love about this doll. I love her outfit, her hair, her beautiful green eyes, and that shade of pink on her lips. And I don't know if the camera's picking up on her or not, but she also has little freckles. I mean, she is just absolutely a stunning, beautiful doll. And I'm so glad to add her to my rewind, rewind collection. So this is Miss Schoolin' Around. And now I am going to get her friend out, which is Slumber Party or PJ Party. I'm pretty sure it's Slumber Party. So again, just like the doll, it slides out. We have a beautiful art rendition of the close-up of the doll on the front. And then on the back is the full body. And then it shows the other two dolls in this line, in this new series. Uh, Movie Night, which again, I have back here. And again, I'll probably do a review on her soon. And then Prom Night, which I plan on getting really soon. And so pulls out like this. And of course the box, like all the boxes, looks like a VSH, 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 VHS tape which I think is a really, really cool uh, design. And I really hope this line continues. I haven't heard. Let me know if you know if this line is gonna continue or not. I feel like it's been a popular line, but then again, I do see the dolls going on sale a lot and um, I don't think we got any this year. So let me know in the comments below if you know if this line's gonna continue or not. I really hope it does. I love this line and I hope maybe they get, I'm getting sidetracked here. I hope we get a 90s edition to this as well, but uh, let me go back to looking at these dolls. I can get sidetracked, I apologize. She too has a little little bit of verbiage on the back of her box. I'll go ahead and read it, real, read it real quick. It says, pack your cutest PJs. Barbie is having a slumber party and you're invited. I kid you not. It's going to be a heck of a t heck of fun. They did some... Uh, what uh, what do you want to do first? Play MASH, get a makeover, or call Ken? Better pop in, pop another video in the VCR because we're staying up all night long. So um, if any of you know what MASH is, let me know in the comments. I've never heard of this game before. Um, so yeah, I didn't know what that was when I first read it, what, what MASH was. Let me know if any of you know. So in the box, we see the beautiful Barbie using the Christy face mold from the 90s. I don't believe, um, I believe, I don't believe they used the Christy face mold at all in the 80s, unless it was the eight, late eight, 80s. Uh, she slides out just like the other doll did. And uh, again, the accessories with these dolls just keep getting better and better. Again, uh, strip your authenticity. They all look the same. But as I was saying, I feel like the accessories with these, that come with these dolls are just getting better and better as they go along. Uh, let me cut her out of the box and take, we'll take a deeper look at these really fun accessories that probably bring back a lot of memories. Um, I do slightly remember VHS's um, from back in the day. Um, but when I was in my teens, uh, DVDs were more prevalent than VHS's were. Uh, but I do remember them. I do remember the video rental stores <laughs> that turned into um, DVD rental stores, and now we don't really have any, which is kind of sad. I kind of enjoyed uh, going to the movie rental place on a Friday night and picking out my selections of movies I wanted to take home and watch. But uh, that's okay. Times change, technology advances, and... Things phase out, unfortunately, but um, I do have those memories a lot growing up. And I'm sure many of you do. I'm sure many of you miss Blockbuster. I mean, it was just a short time ago that Blockbuster was 
thriving. You know, it's um, kind of funny how not long ago, Blockbuster was a thing in business. I know, I'm rambling. I'm just trying to, as fast as I can, get the stall out of her box. All right, she comes with a light pink cassette stand, uh, cassette stand base, which will sit over there. And the telescoping, the waist clip part. Also, let me know down in the comments below, do y'all have as bad luck with these things as, these, as I do? I feel like if you take your doll on and off them a little too much, they just kind of snap. Um, and I just end up using my own stands, which is a shame because in this case, I really like the base of the stands. But um, let me know down in the comments if that happens to y'all a lot. So I have the doll and accessories free, so let's start going over these really fun, nostalgic accessories. Ooh, yeah. So let's go over this piece, which is probably my second favorite. This little hot pink rotary telephone. I mean, is this not so cute? I have to admit, I've only ever seen a rotary telephone in person once, and that was, um, it was in an antique store. Don't come for me, but it was, it was an antique store. <laughs> it was 100% an antique store when I saw it, and I thought they were really cool looking. Uh, I kind of wanted to pink one for my doll room just as have on display. And then she also comes with a can of hairspray because in the 80s, where would you be without your can of hairspray to keep that hair, you know, large and in charge, right? I love this accessory piece. I've never really seen a can of hairspray before, so I'm glad to have one. And it doesn't mean they haven't done it before. And then she does come with this little eyeshadow palette with a very, very tiny pink eyeshadow brush. The mirror is not reflective anyway, it is just, I believe it's printed on with this. I believe it's a sticker, so are the eyeshadows. But, and so is the eyeshadow brush. So all of it is stuck on there. It does close, revealing a little like rainbow and stars design on the front, which again, I may go back and try to paint, make it look really cute. Really bring out those details. And she does come with, again, if I can just get it out without losing it, a tube of lipstick that matches the color on her lips, which we'll go over when we see her. So here's the little tube of lipstick. It is a really pretty, she called that a fuchsia pink color. And then it also has the little thing where you can clip it to her finger so it looks like she's holding it. And it comes with its own little cap. And there you go. And you can display it just like that with all her, all her other things. Now let's get into the doll. And I am already loving this doll so much. Uh, happy to have her in my collection. Again, I feel like these dolls just kept getting better and better as the series went on. Again, these plastic stays, which I feel like are just overkill. I feel like they're not needed. If anybody knows why Mattel is on using these, please let me know. Because they're just a pain. And cut the threads that have her sewn into the back of this plastic thing. And then snip that. And she's out of the box or that plastic thing. So here she is. And I forgot to go over this. <laughs> I forgot to go over the um, articulation with the other doll. So we'll do it with this one. You can see it better anyway with this doll. She's articulated in the elbow. 
She can rotate her arm all the way around. She has wrist articulation. Um, no waist, no chest articulation. She can move at the head, of course. Has pretty good movement in the head. And she has the classic bend and click knee. And I love the fact that they use the bend, bend and click knees on these dolls. I think it's great. Honestly, if they were to do this with the fashionistas, I'd stop complaining about them. Um, but I'm sure it's, it has to do with the cost of materials and keeping the fashionistas affordable. <laughs> It is what it is. And so, out of the box. Box hair. Heavily gelled curls. Very pretty, though. I love the large green bow. I am loving the vintage Christie face mold from the 90s. Uh, they also used it when they just called her the African-American version of Barbie. This was the main face they used for Christie and Barbie in the, the 90s. Again, maybe even the very late 80s. I'm not quite sure, but I know this face was very prevalent in the 90s. So, um, again, with her hair, very, very heavily curled and crunchy, if you can hear that, uh, curls. But I, what I've realized with my Barbie the Movie dolls, if you just run some warm water through the hair and comb it and brush it out and let it dry, it actually dries very pretty. So I'll be doing the same thing with her. Um, and you can see how well it turned out for them on my Instagram, I took a lot of pictures of them. I mean, the hair has turned out soft, it looks it looks great. So I'm gonna do the same thing with her, just run some water through it, comb it, brush it, let it dry, and I think it's gonna be good to go. So, um, and she's got really nice, very thickly rooted hair. And it's good quality hair, it's probably Saran would be my guess. And she is wearing PJs, uh, which I think is super cute. We never see enough uh, Barbies and PJs. Uh, she's got these very frilly, ruffle looking sleeves and this top with this, I'm thinking a bear on it, listening to a cassette player, I'm thinking. Um, with all these other cool like 80s designs that you would see, lightning bolts, little dots, just very 80s. The pant, the pajama bottoms are pink with the with cassettes printed on them, and other little triangular designs you would see in that was prevalent 80s fashion. And uh, the same print continues to her ruffly sleeves. She's got very pretty makeup, that beautiful pink fuchsia lip and purple eyeshadow, which I believe fades into that same fuchsia. It's kind of hard to tell in the uh, screen, but it's still very pretty. And she completes her look with socks, which I think is a really cool uh, feature to have because we don't get very many Barbies with socks, or, or should I say completed socks. A lot of times we get leg warmers, they try to pass off as socks. Hmm. So um, she does have these very large star earrings, which I think is very cool. And she has a blue, teal blue heart-shaped ring. And again, that bow, I'm loving that bow. It is sewn on, so I'll probably keep it on her. And I'll just be careful not to get it wet when I'm washing out the, and combing out the hair later. Um, so if you want to see how that looks, go check out my Instagram. I will post pictures of, of these dolls on my Instagram, uh, for y'all, for more details. But that is my review today of Schooling Around from the Barbie Rewind 80s edition series and Slumber Party. Now I know, again, I apologize for this being a long video, but I did go over two dolls and their accessories. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it, please like, share, and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And go follow me on my Instagram, at Hunties Dollies. Uh, that's where I post a lot of my updates and a lot of photos of my dolls. I hope you all had an amazing Christmas and a very happy new year. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.